Hello all, welcome back to Shamewood Pedigree. I appreciate y'all being here. Um, if I look a little different, it's because I plugged my camera in today to charge the battery, make sure it was fully charged. And I just went to turn it on and it said the battery was dead. So I don't think I had it plugged in all the way. Even though the light went off saying it was fully charged. I don't know. Well, I'll play with it later. That camera's give me enough of a problem sometimes. All right. I'm worried about the phone popping off the mount and going into my tub of water here. Okay. That's better. My OCD is kicking in. If the camera is the slightest off level. All right. Haven't seen you guys in a week. Reason for that. I've been wanting to use my R41. This is... Oh, I forget the model number. It's it's an R41 head on a on a um, resin handle, but we're not going to use that resin handle today because that sucker does get slick when it's wet. What we are going to use is my homemade handle. It's nuts and washers. Nuts kind of fits me, so we'll work on that. I think I'm just going to leave it on there. We'll put that on there. <clears throat> well, since we got it apart, <clears throat> excuse me, might as well put our uh, iridium, super iridium, Wizomet, in the head. Did it go away? It was on this side. Right there. I had a zit popping right here on my head. So, no matter how old you get, you still get zits. R41 head on that handle, that sucker ain't slipping nowhere. I mean, I guarantee you that, guys. This handle is slip proof. So, I could use this every day. I really could. Viennese, main made, old time barbershop. It's in a Victorian era mug. I cannot read that. It's faded out too much. And they did it in script. I think it's a JG... Got me after that. Terror? T A R I R? Well, anyways, it's Victorian area. Era. Shave mug. With the soap. Like two and a half, it started with. Ground up, smashed in. And I have in the little spray bottle the matching cologne cool aftershave. If we're using barbershop, we're going to go with the Jaquil Cotton Vio 24mm synthetic. So we got smashed. That has been soaking because, like, cra like Fuzzy says, I'm crazy. I have mental issues. Okay. brush out and load it up. Oh, love this scent. I say it every time I use it, guys. This just takes me back when I was six, seven, eight years old and went to the barbershop with my grandfather. That first smell when that door was first open in that small town we lived near where he went to get his hair cut. Just flipping amazing. That would have been 70, 71, 72. 
50 years ago. Oh, that scent. B and E makes Canada one. And I bought one of their candles. I bought their coffee candle. It was very, very good. I burned that sucker up in a couple days. It smelled so good. They made this in a candle. Oh. I'd be the chubby meister. Yep, I haven't seen you guys in a week. So I wanted to use my R41 badly, but three days worth of growth isn't any kind of challenge for it. And actually, a week's worth of growth isn't much of a challenge for it either. All right, here we go. I don't think I've ever used a camera on this phone for video because I just recently got this phone not too long ago. It here and there. I can feel it. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. This came in a couple days ago. This is the uh, Alpha Shaving Shave Dad Razor. Um, the Shave Dad Facebook group. They made a limited run of like 250. See where it says Shave Dad on the base plate? Now everybody's making a push. You only see 50 bucks. It's aluminum handle, aluminum cap, aluminum stand. It sits like that. But it's got a hole there, a starter hole. I'm thinking about drilling it, but it is only aluminum, and I'd have to put some weight to it somehow, maybe glue some big ass washers to the bottom of it so it sits flat. Because it'll tip over probably. Just thinking about chucking that up in the drill press and making the hole bigger so you can stand it up. But uh, we'll just leave it the way it is. even need a second pass but we're gonna do one seriously do not need a second pass oh. is this my favorite base no is it a good glycerin base damn good glycerin base
builds right up. But no, it's not my favorite base. My favorite scent? I have a tie between this, Shannon's Dark Roast Coffee, and um, Barrister and Man's Measure of Man, as far as favorite scent goes. It's like a three-way tie. They're all so good. This razor is so efficient. Is it the most aggressive razor I have? Oh, hell no. I've got at least three more that are more aggressive. But this, out of all the aggressive razors I have, is the most efficient aggressive razor. Maybe I nick myself. I think I nick <laughs> Yeah, I nick myself right there. Okay, that's fine. I should have gone this direction the first pass, but I went against the green. It's okay. Basically just doing cleanup anyways. Because this thing is so damn efficient. Nobody should be afraid of this razor. Do not be afraid of the R the R41 just because it is efficient. Do not be. It is not. There's some razors that are aggressive. You can feel the blade. You can. They're just. Uh, you can feel them biting into the skin. This does not do that that's why I say this is efficient more than aggressive Face is done. That that just knocked everything. After that first pass, I'm sorry if I'm shouting. I don't know how good the microphone is on this camera. It's phone. Um, after that first pass, I was damn near BBS. You just missed what I just did. Good tip shoved all that into my ear. <laughs> oh, yes. The R41 with a Wizmet on the dome. How about that? You don't see that every day. Maybe the last time you see it too. No. Well, tomorrow's a big day. Busy day. I'm gonna drive all over town and back. My local one, I mean local, I mean it's like two and a half miles down the street. DMV office has been closed for four months for remodeling. 
and it's still closed. So I have to either go to the Clearwater one, which is north of Countryside for me, which is like nine miles. Ten miles, or I can go to one in St. Pete, which is like seven and a half. Either one's a pain in the ass. So I'm going to the one in St. Pete tomorrow. We just found out yesterday that the wifey, this thing's driving me nuts. I don't want to bend it out like that because it's going to pop out the mount, which it almost did. Okay, hang on. Wait. Let me try that. not used to using this mount, guys. The base of it, yes, but not this adapter. I'm trying to get right for the camera. Alright, that should be good enough. Um, what the hell did I just do with my razor? There it is. Anyways. Back to front is with the green. Anyways. We just found out, yeah, actually yesterday, that when we put the new sticker on her tag, somehow she threw away the new registration and kept the old one, which doesn't even match the tag because when we did her registration this year, we found out that they had at the dealership had accidentally went because they got you know she drove on a temporary tag and then they sent her her permanent tag after they got it in they accidentally sent her the tag for somebody else's car and that somebody else had her tag because when we got the renewal notice for the tag it did not match her tag I was like, what the hell's going on here? So we called the dealership. And they're like, oh crap, we, we made a mistake. I said, well, you better contact the other person and let them know. Oh, we will, we will. So we had to go through the process of getting another tag. So when all that happened, she got all flustered and everything, and she threw away the wrong registration. So she still got the registration for the tag that expired on her birthday this year, but for the wrong tag number. And we need the registration tomorrow. I think I told you guys her key fob broke. She went to start the car in the the guts of the key fob came apart and the key popped out which is just a piece of metal with a T on the end and it was held into place with two little metal plastic clips but once you would turn it the plastic clips broke and the key popped out and the fob won't doesn't apply enough pressure on the key to turn it to start it and I tried jury rigging I tried building up the inside was like rolled up tape, I, I cut a, I cut an itty bitty piece of wood, sanded it, fit it just perfectly in there, so when you snapped the lid closed, it kept the key tight, it just popped the lid right off, it just se separated the key fob, it wouldn't hold it together, so I ended up having to order another key and key fob, because it, you can't order just the fob and put the key in, you've got to order their fob with their key already embedded. Well, this one at least is better than hers. Hers was just held in with plastic clips. This one's embedded in plastic. It's like they poured molten plastic over the top of it into the recess that the key sits in. So it's it's in there. It's not going to pop out very easily. But yesterday I went it, it finally came in and I went to get her key cut. It's a laser cut. So I went to go get the key cut for her car. All they had to do was move the electronics from the old one to the new one. No big deal. I went to go get the key cut, and the guy couldn't get the key to lock down in the clamp that they use 
you know, side by side to cut it. Because her key was so worn out, instead of being flat on the edge, it was domed. Oh. I told him, I said, can't you just put it on a grinder and flatten it? Oh, no, no, no. That'll mess up the cut all the way. You, It'll never work because you'll take off too much metal, no matter how you do it. Like, frick, now what am I going to do? Go pay the dealership tons of freaking money to get a key? He said, no. You go to the dealership and you, he says, you, you got to, you got to give them all the information on the car and everything. He said, but you tell them you just want a door key cut. He said, once the door key's cut, you bring it to us, bring it back to me. He said, it's the same key. One has a fob and one doesn't. One's just like a standard key and you can use it in the door. Just bring it back to me and I'll cut the one on the fob using the door key. It's the same key and you'll be in business. Okay. So I call the dealership to see how much this is going to cost. Wasn't that bad. 15 to 20 bucks. But you got to have your registration and the car must be there. They want proof that it's your car before they do this. And you got to go in and fill out a bunch of forms. They got to send them to Ford. Ford has to look them up and approve it and everything. And then send the code because they have so many sets of keys. There are different cuts of keys. Ford usually use four. They probably still even use four cuts of keys. And if you didn't know that, if you have a car, a Ford made in the 70s or 80s, you have a one in four chance of opening up somebody else's car and a one in four chance of starting somebody else's car. And it may not be the same car that you could open the door on that will start it. That you'll be able to start but anyways that's for all you car thieves out there they want to steal old cars anyways then they send the code back to the dealership and then the dealership can look up the code in their book and cut the key I'm like what a bunch of shit and I'm thinking oh we got to do all this through Ford all this. I'm, I'm just seeing dollar signs ringing up behind my eyeballs I'm just seeing cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. And I said, okay. Now that we've gone through all that, I asked the guy, I said, so how much is this all going to cost me? Oh, between $15 and $20. Like, what? Yeah, but we got to have the key here. Well, here was the problem. I said, okay, we got to have the car here. I went to start the car yesterday. And it wouldn't start. And she noticed, I never saw it because the seat, the seat, the back seat was in the way, but there's a light down under a little shelf in the back that lights up the hatchback area. She noticed it was on. I said, How long's that been on? I said, she said, I don't know. I said, Okay, I noticed with your car when you press the button on the fob, it unlocks all the doors in the car. And you can even hear the the hatchback lock, latch pop. I said, when was last? She said, I use it almost every time I get open the car. Okay, so every time you've unlocked the car, you've unlocked the hatch. So your hatch has never been actually closed. I said, but the most the car's ever sat between drives is two days, and that little light won't drain a battery in two days. So, but now that it's sat for two weeks, voila, battery dead. That freaking channel in the back of my head just does not want to cut. So the car wouldn't start. So today, after it rained, I pulled my, I went out, got in her car, got the, tr the hood up, noticed her battery's on the driver's side. Well, mine's on the passenger side. And if I pull up in the grass next to her car, that's a long stretch. I have long cables that would probably make it, but it's still a long stretch. So I decided I'm just going to back in next to her car. It'll be easy for me to get out because I'll be on the other side. And I could just jump the battery, jump the car. Instead of getting a tow truck to take it to the freaking dealership, I'll just jump the car. So I did that. So... I'm 
just got done hooking the cables to her car my car my car is running I'm letting it run for a couple minutes to put some charge in the battery and this guy that works for the park comes by in a golf cart and stops real quick slams on his brakes hey you can't park on the grass I looked and I said do I look like I'm parked on the grass he said your car is on the grass I said do I look like I'm parked on the grass yeah your car is parked on the grass I said I am jumping this car because the battery's dead once this car is started, I will move my car back around and put it back in the driveway. Well, you can't park on the grass. I said, let me tell you something. If you want to be this way, I have two words, words for you. And they aren't get well, okay? And he just kind of looked at me like I said, they start with an F and an O. How about that? You understand that? Pulls out his little clipboard and he starts writing shit. I said, write it up, buddy. Write a lot. Write everything you can think of. Make shit up. I don't care. Everybody in the park knows this guy is. You're an asshole. Even the front office knows you're an asshole. I know I didn't do my base with really good. I'm using this sprayer. The other one's a little plugged and it's doing a little squirty squirt straight. Good head shape though. Damn good head shape. Just jump in the car, buddy. Okay? Relax. As soon as it's done, I'll be moving it. You're such dickheads around here. I swear to God. Nothing on the head, not even a tingle. I got a little bit right here, but over here, some tingling. Like I said, guys, do not be afraid of the R41. It is a fish, more efficient than it is aggressive. Definitely more efficient than aggressive. So, I jumped the car. I got it started. All right, how I've been starting it. The key sticks out about that far out of the ignition because it's got to go into the fob where the base is. So, it it's, doesn't get lost in the ignition. And I take a pair of pliers and I twist it. Now, I could do that to drive it. She can't. Or she won't, whichever way you want to look at it. Aftershave. Oh. It has alcohol, I can tell you that much right now. Oh, but it feels so good. Oh, excellent, excellent smell. Nivea, maximum hydration, aftershave balm. We're going to go with that much for the head and the face, and we're going to do this, three squirts of that, oh yeah, oh good stuff, excellent, excellent, oh I love that scent guys, I really do. All right, we got. I got. Uh, uh, it's closed. I got. Uh, 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 uh. charges that didn't want to start up it means the battery's low all right guys i appreciate you being here thank you very much mueller r41 efficient not aggressive guys do not be afraid of it this is like i said i have much more aggressive razors than this that aren't as efficient 
this is the most efficient razor I own. And that's that's a good compliment to make about a razor. It's efficient without being aggressive. Some guys do think it's aggressive. I, it looks aggressive with those teeth and everything, but it's to me it's not. You don't get a lot of blade feel. It cuts super, super fantastic. You, you saw that one pass, and I was, I was definitely socially acceptable shape. You could have gone one pass for that and taken a, excuse me, a week's worth of growth off. Anyways, nine fifty on Amazon or eBay. Excuse me, not Amazon, eBay. Uh, they used to. I don't know if they still do. Run a special if you bought two, you got twenty percent off. If you bought two bucks of their, they got several cents. Excellent, excellent scent. I like all their scents. Their New England leather, they call it now. I got it. it was leather jacket when I bought it. it. Is if you like leather, straight up leather. That's it. Nothing. No rum. No booze. No cigar smoke. Nothing. No pipe smoke. Leather. Excellent leather scent. All right, guys, we're running up at over 31. I appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. I got to go pick her up. Pretty after I do this video, I'll try and get it uploaded before I get to go pick her up. <sighs> because the car's still down, but we're going to get that all solved tomorrow. Get her a new registration, which actually we need to anyways, because it's got to be changed to this address. And I will talk to you guys later. Enough of that with that guy in the camera. I'm in, you're in the chair now. I'm in the chair. You're in the chair next. Happy shaves out there, guys. Take care. Oh, that's off.